Hello, welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries, although strictly speaking this isn't part of the Project Hercules Diaries because it's nothing to do with the bike. It's a bit of a side project around the bridge port that I've got which is over there in the corner of the garage, that machine there. So that's had a conversion that, that I did to make it a CNC machine, but it's got a limitation because it's got the standard screws, which have got a little backlash in. And a nice bloke called Wayne has donated a pair of these ball lead screws, so there's absolutely no backlash in there. So I was looking at how to fit them to the bridge port so it becomes true CNC, and I don't need to worry about um, Backlash. Now, my mate Matt from around the corner has kindly donated this, which is the center nut yoke, whatever you want to call it, from the center of a bridge port. So that's a standard part, and there's the two lead screws. I'm fairly sure it goes in that way as you look at the machine, and there's a pair of nuts. One goes in there, that one pair goes in there for the left and right or the x-axis, one pair goes in there for the forwards, backwards or the y-axis, and there's a pair of nuts one each side and they're adjusted up together to kind of minimize the backlash so the job I would need to do would be to put this into the bridge port take the old pair of screws out and put the new screws into here with the new nuts into here and the ends into the the table but that's easier said than done because the first thing to note is that the diameter of this is thicker than the hole in here. In fact, um, it's quite a bit thicker. So if I was to bore that out, there wouldn't be much meat left. And then this part here, where the nut is, would require a, a slot or a groove cutting that would really make it quite thin. So that rules out that approach. Um, another option would be to put the screw in and bring the nut down so that it's flush Oop, losing the camera flush there and bolt it through so drill and tap into the side and bolt through i'm not entirely certain that's going to work either Oop, there we go because there isn't that much meat on here to to bolt it to so it's so bolting that into there and i'm not sure uh, whether there's clearance for this piece uh, either side of the nut and the final thing to take into consideration is that the nut then would be displaced by ooh, quite a good distance and I might lose a bit of travel or I might not be able to send the table all the way to one end or to the other end so it's an easier said than done type of job uh, what I might end up doing is making a new one of these buying a big block of steel and milling it all out there's a lot of work in that or perhaps a couple of thick pieces uh, to mill out to, to bolt to here and then weld them together at 90 degrees but of course they need to be exactly 90 degrees in, in all three planes. Um, one is interesting thing I found is that the nuts that came out of here came out quite easily. This is one of them and it's a plain bush so it went in on a keyway uh, and would be adjusted up one way to take up the backslash, backlash in one direction. And there was another one in the other side that was adjusted that way to take up the backlash in the other direction. They came out a treat, no problem. But the ones that were in here, the forwards and backwards, they were really hard to extract. And they have got a knurl on them. Now, it, it doesn't look a brilliant knurl. So I wonder if someone, a previous owner of this particular machine, had had a problem with the nuts spinning them I in mean, they shouldn't have because there's a big keyway in them uh, but I, I do wonder if that was standard or not if anyone's a bridgeport export expert <laughs> bridgeport expert and they um and they know by all means uh, drop us a comment because just a, a little bit of useless trivia if it goes quiet in the pub you know and you want to impress a young lady and go oh did you know 1937 it uh, works uh, never um <laughs> in my experience so that's that's just a side project for the moment it's probably going in the too hard for right now basket because there's plenty of exciting things to do on the bike but at some point i really would like to get that in because people have kindly donated some things towards the cause and it would be fantastic to make that a really true cnc three axis machine 
with no limitations of backlash or rather very very minimal backlash so that's that's a side bit i won't add it to the playlist of all the other project hercules diaries because it's not strictly about the bike um but it's just something for half an hour in a garage when you haven't got time to do an awful lot so you clean up a few parts and think about the next job that's where i'm at with this as usual thanks for watching more updates will follow